Hello, everybody. Today, our guest is head of the uh, State Council of Tatarstan, Farid Mohamedshin. Uh, Farid Haroch, the model of Tatarstan, how interesting it is for the rest of the world. And don't you think that the relationship between uh, regional center and regions, it's an interesting experience which can be useful for other countries and peoples. Yes, Tatarstan is a unique republic with its hundred years history. Each, every year, every decade proves that a multinational, multi-conventional people of our republic, they preserve their traditions and their relationship and uh, we value it uh, very, very much. Today, uh, yesterday and today, we government does a lot to live in one friendly family within the Russian Federation. But I have to say that um, we, we didn't inherit this, although we uh, had it in the beginning of the century, but it became important in the newest history of our state and of our republic, and we pay a lot of attention to it. I can say that and give you a number of examples on how we value it and how it's taken by the uh, people of many nationalities in our republic. And uh, tolerance, uh, keeping traditions, knowing it's your history, taking care of future. This is what we all um, levels of government base they work on. It's a historical practice, historical configuration. But after the uh, renewing of the last constitution of Russian Federation, which we had, we also approved our constitution. And I have to say that, of course, uh, this was on the foundation of it. We preserved our identity, language, culture of every uh, nation living in our republic. We monitor this situation. <coughs> and um, I believe that uh, different challenges which we had we were supported, uh, and uh, we supported our, our people. And we see what's happening uh, around us and uh, in, in the countries, our neighbor, neighboring countries. We improve our system of government uh, management. We have special uh, committee responsible for the uh, interconfessional international issues. Uh, we have uh, good initiatives from the acting president, uh, from President uh, Minikhanov. And um, it is understood quite correctly. I have to say that our constitution, which was adopted in quite difficult uh, situation, constitution which we live by now, it was filled by new content, by new laws about state languages, about religious um, communities. We adopted this in 1999 about national cultural autonomies. We implement a national program for preservation of the national languages and state languages of Republic of Tatarstan. Speaking of um, national relationship in our republic. Well, I'm optimistic as a head of the State Council and as a head of the Assembly of Peoples of Tatarstan. Remember that uh, our first president, president uh, uh, proposed to organize such institute and I uh, had to be head of this uh, assembly and we do a lot. We have Sunday schools, we have now, uh, round tables and festivals, we, we open the houses of friendship and in the cities of Tat Tatarstan. This is part of the big work you know, which we have in uh, protecting and preserving 
multinationalism in Tatarstan. This is our treasure and this council and assembly, uh, they work uh, in different ways implementing our laws and proposals and we progress seriously uh, in enriching culture of every uh, nation in our nationality in our republic and preserving their identity passing it from generation to generation 173 uh, different uh, nationalities who live in Tatarstan they say this is our home this is our republic this is and where we live uh, this is our republic and Russian Federation Armenians Chivash, Mardova, Maritza all with whom we talk they all say we live in Tatarstan this is our uh, this is our home and this is our uh, responsibility to protect and preserve our identity it's very important work. <laughs> national policy is uh, conducted through the national policy which was adopted in uh, uh, 2014 we have special program for language preservation and this is our everyday life uh, we maintain our self-identity and identity of other cultures and uh, how should I say the patriotism Russian patriotism including Tatarstan because we love our Republic and we know uh, its history we study it and it's uh, very important for us uh, when uh, what a uh, hundred years of uh, Tatarstan uh, our parliament signed dozens and m more than 30 agreements and memorandums about um, cooperation between the parliaments and support of languages and traditions of Russian Tatars uh, Chuvash on every territory and not only in Volga district but also in Russian Federation this is the um, foundation based on which we uh, make decisions uh, on the government level in the Republic of uh, well and our colleagues also know that having signed the agreement with Tatarstan in Russian and in Tatar that they feel responsible for supporting the life of Tatars uh, in all regions of the Russian Federation. In that sense, our experience of peaceful coexistence uh, in acceptance of people of various ethnic groups and faiths is causing great interest, be it around the regions, ex-Soviet Union countries and wider, they are always asking as how are you managing to lead this dialogue? How do people treat your initiatives? We are sharing sincerely this how it was, this is how it is today, and I believe that it's important that we will be able to pass it on to new generations in the new centenary we are entering this year. Most valuable for us. Well, let's go back to legislative affairs. This is the permanent topic, especially for you who was standing at the foundation of New Russia. Where is this balance between um, different uh, levels of authority? Where is this balance uh, between uh, federal and regional issues. What is the situation with federalism today? I'm one of those convinced that a multinational, multi-ethnic state of ours, our large motherland Russia, is meant to be a federated state. And the federative uh, route of development of our step was always supported here. On the one side, this was allowing us to come up with certain initiatives, increasing the level of responsibility of local authorities and regional authorities in relationships with our uh, population, as well as identify various 
concepts in the relationship with federal authorities. Constitution, Article 71, 72, and 73 prescribes authorities of various levels of a government are guaranteeing the fact uh, that uh, we are adopting our own laws, which obviously shouldn't contradict federal laws. At the same time, it's a new incentive for us to be looking for realistic ways for overcoming local challenges uh, that we are facing and needs. You might remember I was speaking at the federal, at State the Duma for us to have fewer direct uh, laws, uh, one size fits all for all region subjects. I offered to have, to set up a framework of how regulation should be done, but uh, giving the development uh, of uh, specific details to be passed on to regional authorities. That kind of a framework solution was allowing us to keep the initiative for the ways of solution that would be solutions that would be giving more effective uh, ways of addressing different issues would have raised the responsibility of regional and local authorities. Unfortunately, we see today the trend is towards uh, adopting uh, direct laws that don't uh, incorporate specifics of uh, regions on various issues. There are, what, 85 region subjects. Each one of those is looking for their own way forward in the framework of the requirements at the federal level. I think that during the last meeting with Valentina Matvienka and Vyacheslav Volodin, we have been heard when we discussed this. We believe that a greater trust, uh, mutual trust towards each other, federal and uh, regional legislators, would allow us to achieve better successes in the development of the country because the success of the country depends on the success of its regions. I believe this can be very much supported uh, by uh, changes uh, at the level of uh, constitution that Tatarstan uh, Tatarstan has uh, conf voted very much. That led uh, to uh, obviously challenge. Uh, at the same time, this happened in the year with the COVID pandemic when we had to adapt to this situation and address various difficulties at the economic level, etc. Uh, Mr. Mohammed Chen, uh, COVID has shown that. Uh, federal authorities are unable to set one size fit all solution and uh, the fighting uh, the epidemic was passed on passed down to the regional authorities i believe that's an important uh, decision the very first steps to limit the spread of coronavirus were done by the president of the russian federation such as uh, uh, transport, uh, international transportation, communication, uh, and other issues. Federal authorities have allocated significant funding to the regions of the Russian Federation, but at the same time, as you correctly say, situation at various regions is uh, different, which is why our president and uh, our situational room and the council was at the adopting different decisions and different modes of addressing this, communicating it to the public that, th that it's important to uh, follow the prescriptions not to get infected. And uh, the Republic did, uh, at the same time, support uh, the entrepreneurs, and this shows that the Republic is on the right way forward. Uh, 
Mr. Mohammed Shah, you talked about the new constitution that was supported by majority of Tatarstan, but there are many other questions that uh, could follow. Constitution is to be followed by new federal laws and regional laws. And it's important to keep a balance between federal and regional authorities. You're right. There is a lot of work ahead. As the chairman of the regional uh, parliament, I have uh, brought together the uh, deputies of the state of Duma from Tatarstan in Moscow to engage uh, them into this process. I was a member of the working group on the decision of the President of the Russian Federation. I have myself witnessed how some questions were being addressed were with uh, serious challenges. It's very important that now that in this new constitutional solution statements have been introduced, it's important for us to keep the balance, not to forget the most valuable things that were supported by the people. We have started to do that work. We would have to reconsider over 100 laws, including constitutional laws. Uh, we would need to introduce... Uh, amendments into some 40, 45 laws of the Republic due to uh, the changes to the Constitution. Now the working group that was working under the aegis of the President of the Republic of Tatarstan uh, on legal affairs, we have extended its compositions. We got support of the President Minikhanov and the political group started doing this. We have also engaged lawyers on top of what has been done at the level of this working group. We are analyzing and we would like to take part not only at the level when we would have a draft bill in first reading, but at the stages of preparation to the first reading for us to be more actively engaged in the process. Overall, the population of the country has supported these amendments. Of course, it's important to provide the support in various economic areas, special categories, the attention to doctors and uh, medical workers has been increased. Life has shown that they have been at the forefront of fighting coronavirus. And a number of other questions that were introduced and in the, during the full session of the parliament will have to consider a number of them. If we take one step down and if we talk about the challenges that municipal authorities are facing at their level, uh, because uh, they do have authority, but we still see that they are not often getting enough funding as well as organizational uh, means. What should be done there? Well, changes of the Constitution, those municipal authorities were introduced into the public uh, authority circles. They were part of it, but now new tasks and uh, wider responsibilities. I believe that the order, the process of shaping, electing uh, municipal authorities should not change because people are deciding who they are but by introducing municipal authorities into constitution it's very much time for us to take a look at the tax base uh, tax income base for municipal institutions of the republic i've been a member of the working group headed by the, the president of Russia, Boris Yeltsin, when we were creating local self-government governance, we were back then were stating that we need to guarantee them tax income base so that there would be an interest for population to be working in the region, to be uh, uh, leaving some of their taxes at the municipal level so that uh, the municipal authorities would have a motivation to take part in the development of the uh, local economy, thinking of how best they can spend this money, a club somewhere, road somewhere, etc. That question is there. It's still open. We've discussed this at the working group level. I doubt that federal authorities are likely to share some of the budget income by uh, allocating them to the level of uh, municipalities or settlements. We offered uh, a solution of having some subsidies when giving them to the municipal level with uh, 
region and the subjects also region subjects sharing some of their tax income as well um, there are so many of uh, them the municipal authorities every morning waking up they are thinking about how can they get some money from the regional authorities uh, not thinking themselves about or thinking less about taking steps to earn that money because they know that these uh, tax funds would go to the regional level. In that sense, it's important for us to reopen this topic so that we give municipalities a possibility to go to a new level of development, not at uh, the level of a gift from the regional budget or a federal budget, but uh, directly as a result of whatever municipalities would have done themselves that would lead to the fact that the tax base for the municipalities would be growing new homes, new schools, new kindergartens because this is how this is being discussed to balance the level of income of say urban and rural dwellers in Tatarstan a lot is being done in this direction there are presidential programs directed at balancing quality of life, building roads, uh, homes, uh, hospitals, kindergartens and schools, uh, different categories of uh, infrastructure being developed. The Republic allows us to speak that we have chosen the right priorities and I do hope that the federal authorities will also look uh, these ways to make sure that Russia will be renewed to uh, in every municipality, at every village, because our predis because the rural areas are keeping the traditions of our ancestors be, uh, better than in the urban landscape, be it uh, culture, be it cuisine, be it other aspects. Uh, they keep those sacred at the same time we see that the rural areas and average age there is increasing and we are concerned well uh, sir I mentioned you have said about a greater share of authorities for the regions for the people that can that live there well where is the limit how much of the sovereignty can we swallow well, these are the words of Boris Yeltsin, and I would like to uh, rephrase them, not to swallow the sovereignty, but uh, materialize your potential. Uh, everybody does it there. You sh we should be offering the, possibili the possibilities for that. There are no limits to sovereignty. There are regional authorities uh, of the sovereign Russia in line with the Constitution they are unchangeable uh, we don't want uh, some things as are taking place in other lands which we sometimes observe there are laws there are uh, f legal frameworks and there is a president we obviously need to provide for implementation of uh, rights and uh, meeting the expectations of uh, the citizens these well your words are we are ready to accept authority and uh, bear the responsibility of course you can't have authority without responsibility and authority can be put on your shoulders but if you can't meet them uh, you should uh, uh, you should be ready to bow your uh, head uh, low in front of the population to show that you are capable of meeting those uh, responsibilities. Well, uh, we are doing a lot uh, in Tatarstan with uh, different uh, sources of funding and uh, it's important for us to bend low and say thank you to all those who have contributed to 
the different levels of uh, taxation. Tatarstan is clearly improving and getting better over the course of decades. And we see both the local public as well as federal authorities showing trust to the regional leadership uh, for what they can. And that's another sign speaking for the fact that, well, there are reasons to trust this region subject of the Federation and th and th they should be making sure that these authorities are implemented, uh, are used to the benefit of the population of the country. Well, uh, Mr. Mohanchen, Tatarstan is a leader in great many events and the investment. What is making it so attractive? The fact that Tatarstan has increased investments uh, from various regions, from the federal authorities, for, uh, from the cap federal capital, uh, from uh, locally as well as uh, from our foreign partners is a result of efforts of each and every Tatarstanian that has contributed towards uh, demonstrating the responsibility of the people living in this land. Uh, our current president, Ostam uh, Minikhanov, is dedicating a lot of his attention to economics and investments. I don't know whether you are paying attention, but all the partners that Tatarstan has uh, long uh, uh, that has established relationships, uh, they continue working uh, together, and there is a big success of the government of the republic, various uh, ministries and departments, and it's important for us to say that in the School of Engineering of our republic is one of the best, uh, because, well, I'm ready to state that because there are not that many peop, uh, region subjects with such an economy. We continue building planes, ships, helicopters, trucks. We continue extraction of oil and refining it at Taneko's newly built plant. Construction complex of our republic is one of the most successful. Look what a wise decision was made by the first president, uh, Shaimiyev, when we were running the program of... Uh, removing, a dilapida a cl uh, erecting new housing instead of the dilapidated slums in the downtown. We, even at the times when we had n little to no money, so we have housing, hospitals, various facilities. Look at the latest example, the, la the most modern hospital built in 100 days. But in our republic, we managed to do that. I'm sure that in future, Tatarstan, uh, we will have to have successful election campaign in 2020, have our local communities, local councils uh, elect president of Tatarstan. Uh, we don't uh, separate. President is the head of the executive powers and the government. This is our uh, where our power is, and with active work with municipals, uh, in the places where there is misunderstanding of of uh, instability, business doesn't go there. It's not taken into account. Only if you have agreement, when all branches of power understand what to do and where to go, only that situation you can be sure in your success. I believe this year is not easy. It's not easy for Russia, for many countries, because of the um, pandemic. But uh, what we have done by now helps us to understand about stabilization of the economy, support of business, big companies. And I have to say that in spite of uh, the fact that uh, we had a drop in G. DP, we got less money in consolidated budget. We hope to implement all our plans from program program 2030, uh, on which we and we made uh, not just uh, I, we we actually adopted a law of uh, Republic of Tatarstan, which must be 
fulfilled must be administered and that is why every year we listen to the government about the implementation of the program 2030 the prognosis and forecast and uh, what president tells us and, and the budget to achieve these goals so this is the reason why we look into the future so confidently well thank you very much uh, and let me remind all of you that our guest on the online platform 100% Tatarstan was the head of the State Council of Public of Tatarstan, Farid Muhammad, stay with us.